Use case 28. When the opportunity stage is set from perception analysis to qualification or from perception analysis to prospecting, create a reminder task for the opportunity owner to check why the opportunity did not progress further. Remind them the very next day when this happened. So which means a task has to be created when this particular criteria is met and the opportunity stage has been modified. And this should be a reminder task and they should be reminded the very next day. Which means if this happens today, this they should be reminded tomorrow. This is our use case. Okay, so we'll go into developer console and we'll open the opportunity trigger. Right, so I'll go to opportunity trigger and I'll also open the opportunity trigger handler. Right. So these two are the files that we need. Now what should be the event context and what should be the event? So this is on the opportunity object and this would be on an update scenario. Right. Because you are modifying the stages. Also what should be the event? It should be before or after. It should be after because you are creating a related record which is a task. Right. So we'll go for after update. Do we have after update here? We do have after update and after update is here. I'll simply put one more method here and I'll say opportunity trigger handler dot inform owner I'll just put it inform owner okay for now and I'll take trigger dot new right do we need the trigger dot old or trigger dot old map do you think we'll need that variable just take a pause and think we will need it right because you're comparing two values whether the current value is this and the previous value was this so you'll need the trigger dot old map also so we will just pick this here and we'll have it in the method so I'll go to the trigger handler and I'll create this method. Let's copy this and this should work exactly as is because this has the list of new records and the map of old records. So I'll just say paste. I'll just copy this name, inform owner and I'll just say save. So the trigger handler should save a fine and then the trigger should also save a fine. No problems. Right. Now let's go ahead and start this out. Who needs to be informed? The trigger, the opportunity owner needs to be informed. So I'll start off with this uh, basic opportunity loop that we go through every time. So I'll say for every opportunity in new records, right? What do I want to do? I want to check whether the stage has been modified, right? So the very first check I'll say is if op dot stage name is not equal to old map records. I hope you are familiar with what I do in this line. Now we have done it a lot of times op.id.stage name so what am i saying i'm saying whether the stage name has changed or not only then go inside that is what i'm saying let's save it okay and now i'll say if op.stage name is equal to what should it be equal to perception analysis no it should be from perception to qualification which means this is the new value so if the current stage name is qualification and the previous stage name was perception analysis this is what it is saying right whether this was the value that it was before and it came to qualification if this was the case or what was what is the other case the other case is if stage name is prospecting and it came from perception analysis right so this can be copied as is and I'll put this in a or condition here right and this should be basically prospecting so if they were standing on the perception analysis stage and they either went to prospecting or they went to qualification right this is how I can write it so these are two conditions so I can just put them into priority I can just give them a priority this should evaluate as one st statement this should evaluate as one statement save if any of these two things happened is when I want to take action. I want to create a task. Agreed? So I'll create a task. I'll say reminder task equals new task. And reminder task dot. I want to put all those values. So I'll say task to insert dot add this reminder task. So I'm just setting the framework and this task to insert should be a list of type tasks. So I'll just define the variable. Save. So this should save a fine. There should be one error on line nine, right? So I'll just say save. Task to insert is here. This line, if I get rid of this line and say save, 
no errors right now i need to go to the task object reference so i'll go to task object reference and i'll see what all fields do i need to set okay so this is my task object i want to create a rem reminder task okay so here can i associate this task to my opportunity i can right so i'll say reminder task dot should it be what id or who id should it be what id or who id what is an opportunity is it a real thing or a non real thing so if it is a, a non real thing it should be what id so i'll say what id equals opp dot id so i have associated it with the opportunity that's the first thing i did right the next thing i can put a description so i'll say reminder task dot description should be equal to please see why this opportunity did not progress further that's the next thing i said what's the next thing i can put i can give it a priority right so i'll give it a high priority i'll say reminder task dot priority equals high save what's the next thing i can do i can put a reminder by using is reminder set equals true that's a boolean flag and i can go to reminder date time when do you want this particular task reminder to happen it should happen the very next day when this happened that means if it happened today this is when it's happening so i can simply say system dot today plus 1 which means tomorrow it should remind them right so i've just associated everything and i've given it a reminder and everything looks fine and it is saved but we do this mistake every time we forget to insert what we created right so we'll, i'll just go outside this for loop and i'll say if task to insert is not empty insert task to insert i'll just insert this list save okay looks good let's test it out i'll go to an opportunity let's open this opportunity here and now let's do the other scenario so if you take a look here do we have any tasks if i take a look at the activity i have two tasks this is split revenue this is something else okay but i will go ahead and i'll just move the stage so i'll move from closed lost to negotiation review should this create a task it should not because that's not matching our criteria if i go to the activity i don't see any task right but now let's move to from stage negotiation review let's move to perception analysis and say save okay it should still not create the task no task but now from perception if i want to move to any of these two values it will it should create a task so i'm moving to prospecting let's say and say save okay oops so something went wrong there's some issue with our code which is insert failed execution of after insert attempt to dereference and null object so what is this attempt let's take a look this is saying handle activities after insert line 41 let's take a look handle activities after insert where is the handle activities after insert i believe this is some other code that's running yeah it's the task trigger code let's open this might be coming from some other use case so task trigger handle activities after insert is the method that's failing see this is the method so i'll just open and see what is inside it so this is handle activities after insert right and here line 41 is failing and it's saying null so line 41 is this value right here so you see task reg dot who id is being checked and it says if it starts with this particular keyword now we should put a null, null check here so what i'll do is i'll say if task reg dot who id is not equal to null and now this should resolve my issue because there was no value in the current task that we were creating see i'll tell you what happened this task is trying to get inserted but it just has a what id it does not have a who id so it went to the task trigger and before insert this particular method ran sorry this particular method right and before insert it's coming here to the handler and it's running this method and it is seeing for every task that has come inside the value of the task reg dot who id now task reg dot who id evaluates to null so this particular thing is evaluating to null and it's giving us a null pointer exception see the null pointer exception is here right so what i did was i simply said first of all check whether the who id value exists or not if it does only then check this now let's try to save it this should save up fine let's see save 
so it saved up saved up fine and it went to prospecting if i take a look at the activity now so you see i have a reminder task that's created if i click on the view more so you see this is the reminder task that has come it does not have a subject because i did not give it that value but if i open the task see it is has the priority high it has the description that i put and it has the related to what id with the opportunity right and it is on a reminder okay so it is on a reminder if i go back to my opportunity i see that it, it has a reminder here okay so the opportunity owner will be reminded tomorrow about this particular task as a pop-up okay so that was a reminder task that we created as part of this use case and we met with an exception that's called null pointer exception very common so always ensure that whatever you try to check first put a null, null check and then you try try to see it if that value is not mandatory people might not want to fill it right so it's better that our code handles the null values and then moves ahead cool great so that was use case 28